Carotid arteries are the two major blood vessels in the neck that supply the brain. If plaque builds up, risk for stroke increases. Each year, almost 800,000 people in the United States have a stroke, the fifth leading cause of death. Vascular surgeon Dr. Anna Gasparian reveals the dangers of carotid artery disease and the treatments. The disease that happens in the carotid artery is dangerous because potentially the plaque that forms inside the carotid arteries can break off, go to the brain, the tiny vessels of the brain, and cause ischemia. Ischemia is lack of oxygen to the brain, and if the brain cells do not get the needed oxygen, they end up dying. Uh, this presents itself as a stroke. There are a number of risk factors for plaque formation. Smoking predisposes you to form plaque in your carotid arteries. Another reason would be high blood pressure, uh, fatty foods, uh, hypercholesterolemia, meaning elevated cholesterol levels. Um, all these cause the plaque to form in your carotid arteries. After diagnosis from imaging, the best treatment is determined. The diagnosis of carotid artery plaques is performed by an ultrasound. If a plaque is identified in a person's carotid artery, that doesn't necessarily entail that he or she will need surgery. Basically, the patients have to be placed in either a symptomatic or an asymptomatic group. The symptomatic group would be where the patients manifest showing facial asymmetry, uh, weakness on one side of the body, difficulties speaking or generating words, uh, or even difficulties in thinking and sounding confused. The asymptomatic would be where patients do not have any symptoms at all and they weren't even aware they had the carotid artery narrowed to a certain point. If a plaque is greater than 80%, then the patient would be offered some sort of a treatment in order to avoid the devastating outcomes of having the plaque dislodge and cause a significant stroke. One of these methods of trying to treat the lesion, which is greater than 80%, is surgically. And this is done by performing a carotid endarterectomy. What a carotid endarterectomy is, opening the carotid artery and removing the entirety of the plaque and at the same time patching the artery to ensure that bl the blood flow will continue to go into the brain. The second method of treating a carotid uh, stenosis is by stenting. And usually the stent is introduced through the artery in the groin and the ca over a catheter and a wire, the stent is placed in the carotid artery where there's a narrowing. Dr. Gasparian discusses the success of the procedures. Both the carotid endarterectomy and the carotid stenting are fairly successful procedures. Patients usually end up going home the following day. Uh, in case of carotid endarterectomies and, and the stenting, we recommend the patients don't drive for about a week due to the incision in the neck or the puncture site in the groin. Um, it would be difficult to maneuver through lanes in trying to drive. And hence, uh, they're both very successful with good outcomes. Lifestyle changes can improve your chances of preventing these plaques. To prevent the progression of this plaque, one must lead a healthy lifestyle by eating more vegetables, less fatty foods, ceasing smoking, and of course, antiplatelet and antistatin medications. This would be your simple cholesterol medications to stop uh, the progression of the plaque.